So histograms uh, follow a triangle like speed, distance, time, but for histograms, uh, frequency is at top, frequency, density, and class width are at the bottom. So we're asked to find the frequencies, and we've been given the class width and the frequency density. Now be careful, um, the frequency is proportional to the frequency density times class width. So always check to see whether the um, example given to you, if you are given an example, works. So the class width is uh, 10 for this first one, and the frequency density is 0 0.8. So have a think, 10 times 0 0.8, well that doesn't quite work, <laughs> that gives me 8. So I've then got to divide it by 4 to work out the frequency. Now I'll always divide each of these by the same number, so the class width for the second one is 10 and the frequency density is halfway between 4 and 4.8, so 4.4. .4. And so what I'm going to do is 10 times 4.4, .4, which is 44. And I'm going to divide it by 4, which gives me 11. And the last one, uh, the, frequency, uh, the class width, and you've got to be careful because it's not always the same with his grant, is 5. The frequency density is 3.2, so I'm going to do 5 times 3.2, which gives me 16. Then again, I'm going to divide it by 4, which gives me 4. So just be careful, most histograms, uh, this number here is 1, so when you times the class width and the frequency density together, you always get the frequency, but it doesn't have to be that way.